Hi everyone. Today we're going to be tying a root beer fly. A fly that I consider perhaps the most deadly subsurface smallmouth fly that I fish. I like fishing for smallmouths and they have a wide assortment of flies to fish for them. However, I've figured out that I only need like four different patterns and the rest is just gravy to uh, try here and there or as a diversion. Those four flies are a black bunny leech, a very effective fly. I like it better than a black woolly bugger because it gives a appearance of a bigger mouthful. And uh, this one's got a little red crystal flash in it, and uh, it works well. The second fly would be an olive wool beadhead woolly bugger. Whether it be a crystal bugger or a brick or a regular woolly bugger, uh, you always should have some uh, an olive woolly bugger in your smallmouth collection if that's what you fish for. To back that olive woolly bugger, I also have a olive bunny leech, which works well, but I don't think it works as well as the black one. I think the black simulates more of the leeches that you find in ponds and rivers and that. Next fly would be a yellow popper. This one is a yellow splinter mouse thing tied with bunny fur for the tail and uh, for the legs on the side. Basically indestructible. Uh, great fly. Anyway, any popper will work for smallies as long as it's yellow. So here we go. We're going to be tying this smallmouth fly. I found this out about uh, 20 years ago. A friend of mine, Dave Aguirre of Westport, Mass., gave me an article on uh, the Androscoggin River and its uh, comeback and how the smallmouth fishing was now world class and uh, it was worth a shot. So I went up there, but the article included these sparkle bugs, which were nothing but uh, a marabou tail, some Estes body, and uh, lead eyes. So I figured, well, why don't we just try one with uh, root beer instead? This would really be a good root beer invitation. Anyway, we've wound the shank with uh, some orange thread. You can use any color of thread for this. I got orange because it sort of like goes with the theme of things here. And we're going to use some one thirtieth lead eyes. The hook I'm using is a mustad model 3366. It's a straight shank sprout bend hook. Uh, I like to use it for, for for my bass flies, especially this root beer style flies, and, and for other things, for clouses and the whole mess. It's basically it's an inexpensive hook that uh, works well for tying these these guys up and uh, most smallmouth flies. <coughs> I like to fish this in either size 2 or a size 4. This one here is a size 2. I'm using 1 30th eyes. If I was going to use tie it on a uh, size 4 hook, I would tie it on a 1 40th lead eyes. After crisscrossing wraps, uh, apply a little super glue to the windings and the, the lead eyes. That really holds them in place good. So another thing, this little applicator bottle that they have of super glue works just great. It gets it out like a drop at a time. It doesn't come pouring out, but you've got to squeeze the tube and hope for the best. Anyway, so we've wound the shank with orange thread. We put some eyes on. Next we're going to put some marabou for a tail. There's different color marabous. I prefer a brown marabou with a reddish tinge to it. There's browns that are plain brown and some that are more golden, but I like the ones that are the brown marabou with a little red to it. So we wind this red marabou in. We don't have to get fancy doing this, trimming it up and all that. We just wind it up to the eyes and uh, trim it off. Next we'll put a little, uh, I like to use a couple of strands of flashaboo in it. The one I really like is this bronze color one. I mean, you can use gold or whatever, but I like this bronze one. It doesn't take much. I don't like to use a lot of flash in most flies that I tie. 
because I feel it some oftentimes turns fish off. But this is a bronze color. Like I say, you can use the bronze, which is in the middle, uh, gold or copper, or any combination of them. But I just like to tie a, a strand in, put one strand on one side and flip it over, then put it on the back side and tie that in. And then if you really want to do it, you'd fold it back again and tie it in the middle and then you'd have a topping of it, which I'm doing here. So, so we can either cut that or we can just wind it in because it just every little bit helps as far as weight goes. So next would be some root beer estas. I like the root beer, it works well. I would just go with plain estas. All the others, especially the uh, pearlescent root beer and uh, UV root beer, have far too much flash to them. This, this is the one I use. I think it works best. And just tie this in. At the shank, if you really wanted to, you could put a drop of lacquer or a. Uh, I'm going to put a drop of super glue. Never hurts. On top of that, then we just wind this guy up the shank. Well, what we should have done is, what we didn't do, is to wind this forward in front of the eye, which we just did now. So we'll correct that mistake, and uh, So there you have it. I mean, you can paint the eyes if you want. I tend to leave the eyes alone on these things. And we'll finish it up with a uh, drop of lacquer over the front windings here. Always put a half inch in for good luck. Always. Finish it up with a good old half inch. That's how I started, and that's how I will end. So anyway, we put a little... lacquer there, a little lacquer there. These things will hold up too. They, I probably, uh, remember one up on the Androscoggin River, I probably caught at least 50 or 60 smallmouths and the thing was still together. Well, the, if you're fishing for smallmouth, don't forget to tie one of these up and give it a try. I'm sure that you'll be more than happy with it. Catch you later.